STS 420. Oh my god. Oh 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 Oh, well, by the time you're hearing this, it'll be 201, but, yeah. or 200 will have been out, obviously, because yeah. this it's, is 201. It's Episode 201. 201. Yeah, you, happy Halloween. You bitch-ass cunts. Hey. Yeah, we, we were talking before we started, totally forgot it was fucking Halloween. Yeah. That's cool. Or I would have chosen better music, but it, it's it's whatever. Nah, that's cool. I mean, I feel like Halloween's not that big anymore, to me. No, you know what's funny is on the way over here, uh, leaving... Fucking, there was actually people trick or treating in the dark. Word, yeah, like like little kids. Yeah, usually it's you know, teenagers. Like, no, not necessarily teenagers, but usually you see kids trick or treating at like three or four in the afternoon. Yeah, to you know, because nobody wants to be out in the dark, whatever. Right, but yeah, they were out there trick or treating. I was like, oh shit, damn! Like, it kind of put a smile on my face. I was like, whoa, I didn't even know that. Right, they did this shit anymore. Was it uh yeah? Because yesterday they did a. Uh, scare on the square so that way people don't have to go to like people's houses so all the like home businesses and caudal and all that just went on the square and just gave out candy hmm. from like i guess six to seven or eight and that's it well also to be fair halloween was ass last year oh yeah you lying. because of you know yeah that- he, he who shall not be named or whatever the fuck they say in harry potter oh uh Bald- Joe? no Vol- oh. <laughs> Voldemort. i don't yeah, know no. what is, what is they uh what do they say? It's Voldy. You know what? What do they say? How do when they, they, he who not who shall not be named? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, we're not gonna bring it up, but you know why? You know why uh, Halloween was nutsack ass. last year? Shit was buns. Let's see line. Buns and a half. We, when's, when's the last time y'all went trick or treating? Probably like four like not years four, ago? not four kids. You know? But, yeah, just as his no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like four years ago, I think maybe longer than that. Man, I had to have been in my teens. Yeah, I think it was like sometime in middle school. Yeah. Yeah, because a couple of my friends were like, yo, man, you want to go trick-or-treating? I was like, fuck it, yeah. I just wear a really weird hat, and then we went <laughs> trick-or-treating, that's it. It was cool. It was fun. I liked it. Yeah. I, I, we wanted to do it this year, but Sarah uh, met up with some of her friends in Dallas. Boo. So she, no, she came back this morning. Oh, okay. But, yeah, she, that drive fucking took her out. No, I get it. So that's a journey. Three hours, yeah. Three and a half. Goddamn. Yeah. Fuck Dallas. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck Dallas. Fucking raggedy ass shit. (laughs) What was the other one? Where's that? What was the other place that we hate? Kansas City. Kansas City. (laughs) Fuck Kansas City too. (laughs) Dallas is our Kansas City. At at some point, we also said fuck New Mexico. (laughs) So fuck y'all too, I guess. (laughs) Fuck all you places if you ain't, if you Texas, ain't Texas except Dallas. S- Sug- Sugma. That <laughs> was low. Goddamn. Yeah, that better? Yeah, that's right, good. Cool. Oh, that air horn's gonna be loud as fuck. Oh my god. STS 420. Welcome to Shoot the Shit with Zeke Girls on the Farm. Brian. It's your boy Zeke, aka Big Daddy from Cincinnati, aka New T Foodist, aka Vishon. It's Israel, aka The Quiet Right. It's Brian. Oh fuck! Fuck it. Bodies AKA on top stack of bodies. those bodies, aka bodies on top of bodies, aka home wrecker, aka I forgot home wrecker. <laughs> <laughs> forgot, forgot about that one. Fuck AKA around hey, out. fuck around and find out, aka uh, great white buffalo. Great white buffalo. In Quince Ocha. In Quince Ocha. <laughs> oh, what was the, the German vermin? The German, German vermin. vermin. <laughs> white chocolate. <laughs> Where is it? Hold on, where'd be easy shit? There you go. Good filler. <laughs> yeah. Right. Man, and we need to get that list back. I I wanna like finish out the year with like a whole names of fucking Brian. We just we just gotta get uh Listen uh, to that one episode. Fine, fine. I don't know which episode it was where the phone but the shit died out. Right. I, I think it was the one uh probably it, it may have been the one before my mom. Or like right before my mom, right. That's as far back as I can remember. I think it's it was your mom's episode. I think so because I was like, oh my shit. It's either your mom's episode or your uh, before your mom. 
It's one of those. That's two. what I'm thinking. Somewhere in that region. So it'd be easy. Get your mom back in on here. Yeah, I was supposed to see her today, but fucking. I've been meaning to visit her, but I've been busy. It sucks now that she's not in Somerville. Yeah, no, I can't just like drop by and like, what's up? Now she's all the way in Bryant, so I was like, oh man, she's on the other side. <laughs> she moved up on us. <laughs> right? Not that it's a big journey or anything, but, you know, it's definitely not as easy to see her anymore. Oh, yeah. Mom, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> but we love you. We love you, but you suck. You suck shit. <laughs> I already get this music rolling, man. Hell yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. Oh, God. What did I do? Why? Oh, nothing. All oh. right. Just want to make sure my shit was set right. Oh, my God. Episode 201. Here we go. Dude, I love that song. Shit goes hard. That was like my anthem when I was a kid. <laughs> Still my anthem. He <laughs> lied. As a 32, almost 33-year-old man. Man, I miss Panic at the Disco. They're, They're still making music. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's not as like how it was back in the day, but it's still pretty cool i like his like i guess pop frank sinatra shit that he does well he he went on your mom's house and said that they pretty much replaced everyone so oh yeah yeah he's the only original member Mm -hmm. so they're talking about he he's the only one who flies on private jet and all this shit i was like god damn well i mean basically now he owns the whole thing compared to like sharing everything with everybody that's gotta suck fucking being a part of a band getting huge and then just being like fuck this i'm gone Right. And I'm giving up away all, all my rights. IP. Yeah. So I don't get any royal well, he get they get royalties, but For know, all the old songs. Yeah. But now all the new stuff, it's all Brandon. Cause he writes all the songs. Hmm. Yeah. By himself. Ballin'. Ballin'. Jack Collin. And then uh same same thing with uh Ronnie with this man. That's what he's doing right now too. Yeah. I was like, God damn. Well, I wouldn't want rights to that shit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> shit is ass. <laughs> Goddamn! I'd be like, "Who wants this bullshit? Y'all can, <laughs> y'all can take it off my fucking hands, <laughs> bro." It's fucking getting cold again. Hey, yeah. I love it. Yes. Fuck! I'm always forgetting, forgetting to bring you the jacket. I finally got it dry clean. But I just Man, you, bring can, it. you went fancy with it. I'd have thrown that hole in the sink and washed it by hand. <laughs> no, no. Right. I feel bad. I didn't want him to be all like, "Here you go," and he's like, <laughs> "What kind of jacket is it? It's that black one that I wear at your wedding." Oh, okay. Yeah. Mr. Fancy Pants over here. Hey. Money bags, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I am glad that it's cooling down. Right. Jesus Christ. Because it got hot like a motherfucker. Goddamn. It actually, I mean, it was hot this summer, but it was, I was actually expecting it to be way worse. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Because it was in 2020 was terrible. Yeah. <sighs> it was, was awful. And we didn't have AC. Shout out to your dad. Facts. And your mom. Shout out, pops and mom. But mom, you still suck. <laughs> <laughs> and grateful ass. <laughs> we we love, call that in Spanish ingrato. <laughs> we love you, mom. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Uh, what Whitico Chiflao or whatever the fuck that means? No, that that just means you're uh, you're spoiled. Oh, okay. Well, well yeah, ingrato guess, means ungrateful. Okay. Well, we love you, mom. <laughs> you still suck. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, we had a damn uh, tornado. Warning? Or no, you it, have the actual it was, tornado? It, was, it turned into a tornado. Oh, shit. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, we were just kicking it at the house. And I was like, man, it was. what's funny is it was sunny as shit outside. Yeah. And I was like, damn. Like, what is this? I, I look out the window and that tree is like touching the ground. Oh, shit. I was shit. like, god damn. So I ran outside and you'd see everyone's trash cans just flying down the street and i was like what the fuck and, and obviously the, the garden in the back got destroyed again right i was nice. like son of a bitch <laughs> and uh wait i thought your uh mother-in-law already like took it out anyways no she took it on that box oh okay yeah we uh but i pretty much rebuilt like a little what are they called greenhouse no planners box I yeah guess. planners box okay yeah but uh yeah everything was just destroyed and then uh, I look on my phone, and it said tornado warning. And that's whenever I texted all. I was like, oh, shit, tornado warning. And like 10 minutes later, it was like, nope. Tornado, it's an actual tornado. The fucking sirens and everything started going off. Oh, I was shit. Like, oh, shit. I was like, we're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and, I, and I, grabbed, <laughs> I grabbed Kane. I tried to, I tried to tell Abraham. He, he was, it was just me and him there. I tried to yeah. tell I was like, yo. I said, we're under tornado warning. If I come get you, 
we need to either get in this bathroom or in the center of the house or somewhere, somewhere. Yeah. or maybe that closet, the shoe closet. And I was like, but, uh, yeah, so we got a tornado. He's like, oh, damn, word. <laughs> so right back to sleep. I was like, all right. Word. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's how I would have been too. Like, word. Facts. And then I eventually did. And then for like the next two days, we had crazy winds. Yeah. It kept blowing out the uh, the power. Oh, word? Yeah. Oh, damn. Damn. Over here, it wasn't that bad. I mean, yeah, it was strong, but it wasn't yep. as bad to take off our power. Yeah. Yeah, we had some strong winds. Uh, we didn't lose power or anything, but it did blow my fucking trash can across the lawn. Damn. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, there's our neighbor, our new neighbors, uh, I guess they don't put their trash cans in the garage. Mm-hmm. They just leave them in front of the garage. Ooh. And then th- that shit, the wind Ooh. took that shit to the road, and it was all the way down the street. Damn. I was like, nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. Them, them bitches are too expensive to just be posted up outside the garage like that for real like what you pay for the trash cans and then you pay for the service for them to empty your trash can yeah man that's some bullshit straight bullshit for real that's that homeowners association shit for you though shit i hate that shit yeah i told sarah when we move there's no way Uh uh-uh shit's a cult and then the bad thing about it is Okay, it does make the the neighborhood look quote unquote nice. Yeah, but all the fucking houses look the same. Yeah, especially yeah. in our neighborhood, they look like identical little boxes right next to each other. Like, was it a one? I was living in Pflugerville. They the houses design wise, they look the same, but when it came to like color, they all were different. The thing that I do love about cul de sacs is when it comes to Halloween and Christmas. Oh yeah, they they go hard. Oh yeah, dude. Uh, when I walked out, fucking, uh, I guess the, our our neighbors to our left are like our age. Yeah, and they had uh, Backstreet Boys. Everybody, like that was their yeah. little theme. I was like, hell yeah, <laughs> that's what's up. That's and so then, cool. And then that shit got stuck in my head. I listened to it like Everybody. twenty times on the way over here. <laughs> hell yeah, was it a no, dude? I, I love it because like instead of going like to the free like trail of lights and all that where they have like a bunch of lights at the park and all that and you can walk around i'm like fuck it might as well go to this neighborhood that have like the same amount of lights that look fucking dope as hell and they have different designs and all that and i was like hell yeah might as well do the poor way there's this one dude in houston he's like a local celebrity there yeah i don't know what he does but his christmas lights are always insane he he always goes crazy for like halloween all like the the holidays where you can really get festive and shit like his like during the holidays if you just look up like christmas lights on instagram or twitter or facebook whatever yeah his house is like number one or number two oh shit yeah one time he had a it was like a car he's you know he's he's in the hood (laughs) like or it's i think it's called like a leaf where ko's from okay or no, Missouri City. I don't know. Whatever the fuck. Shout but, out to K.O. Shout out to K.O. Fuck you. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> he had a a, a car, like a, like a, the illusions, like a car was swinging on the side of his house. And it was like uh, still tipping off old foes. Like, Ew, I was damn. like, damn, that shit is fire. God damn. Yeah, he always goes crazy. We should go to his house. We've not tried like... to find it. We don't, we, we don't know where it is. Man. Obviously, he's not going to be like, yo, here's my address. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Right. But yeah, like every year is something different. I mean, I'm not going to break in. I'm just going to see his lights. Yeah. I mean, maybe break but in. Also, but something. also, I think he's like Instagram kind of handles the job for me. Like, if you want to see my shit. Here it is. I don't want to give yeah. out my fucking address right. for yeah. a bunch of random ass people to just come by. But yeah. like last year for Halloween, he had a uh, some thing where it looked like Michael Myers was like coming from the back. You know, the house is at that angle. Like Michael yeah. Myers was coming back. Freddie was like peeping around the corner. But like it only it, it's like motion activated. Oh shit! So unless people are walking by, it's they'll it, start moving. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing. But when kids and shit start walking by, yeah. you hear all these noises and effects, and then. I think, like, Beat It starts playing. No, Thriller starts playing. And I was like, damn, dude, he goes all oh, out. Oh, shit. That's another thing. I haven't heard, like, Thriller at I, all I didn't hear year. any Halloween yeah. music. Yeah. That fucking, yeah. like, blows my mind. Yeah. Like, dude, if I don't hear Feliz Navidad for Christmas, some th- this is really a hangover year for, for real. For real. I mean, god damn. Like, no Feliz Navidad, no, like, Joy to the World. Something. Grandma got ran over by a reindeer. Something, shit. yeah. 
I feel like that's the most country ass song I've ever heard. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Grandma got one over my reindeer. But it's like, it's who a, the fuck is that? Reindeer? It's a classic though, <laughs> Elon. <laughs> like especially in the South, like a lot of like Sarah. I don't think Sarah has heard that. Oh, I'm, word? I'm willing to bet she doesn't know that song, or if she has. It's from her time in Texas. From her time in Texas, yeah. bro. I, I remember they made a movie out of this, like an oh, animated that's right. movie. Oh, then she probably knows what it is. And then, then uh, that's how I like got to know of it, because you know, like the movie's like, oh, okay, Grandma literally got run over from fucking like drunk ass fucking Santa. What was that? What was that one dude? Ernest. It's like you know how they always have those weird Ernest movies, like Ernest. Yeah, Ernest goes, goes to jail. Or, yeah, Ernest yeah, yeah. goes to camp. Yeah, <laughs> he, they did an Ernest movie where something yeah. like that happened, and God. Is, he, is that guy still right alive? Right uh, I think not. Damn. Kind of reminds me of uh, the Airbud movies. No, Ernest was a G. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. My favorite one was Goes to Jail. I, man, I can't remember. He had, they made so many fucking movies. Yeah. And like, that guy, never, I don't think that guy ever intended to be an actor. Oh, uh, he just did it for fun. No, I think, like, like he kind of, like, stumbled into it. Ah, and they were okay. like, oh, man, you have a weird voice. Cause he was like, ah, ah, ah. he kind of sounded like fucking like the the crazy dude from Wa- Waterboy. Oh, okay. <laughs> but legible, like you could like you know you could actually you could tell what you could tell saying, what he was yeah. saying. Damn, was it a? Uh, so is that where Medea got her inspiration from? Probably. Okay. Because you know ain't nothing original anymore. Nah. I, I just found out that fucking Chucky has a, a series on USA. Yeah. On USA, I thought it was going to come out on Netflix. I didn't even know it was already out. I didn't even know it was a thing. Yeah. They were supposed to do, like, a whole, like, revamp of, like, Chucky, and it should be a show, and it's, like, basically, like, Child's Play as a show. Yeah, Sarah, Sarah was on, watching the first episode. It's kind of kind of lame. Damn. Yeah. I mean, what do you expect, dude? He, he's easily one of the worst horror movie characters. He's, he's still kind of iconic. Oh, he oh, was iconic. Well, no, I'm not taking that away from him. He's definitely... I honestly think they should have went with the funny part of it where they did with uh, uh, Bride of Chucky. Yeah. Because that, honestly... That's my favorite Chucky movie. Yeah. Out of all the movies Be- that I've seen. Because it makes no sense. But, well, it makes sense, you know, but it's still tied into the original storyline. Right. But, but it's so outlandish. But they're like, let's... Okay, it's time to start making fun of ourselves because... He's easily the easiest fucking character right. to like outrun. <laughs> Cause the way that he runs, he's just like at top speed, uh, uh, he's hitting one point eight miles an hour. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. At and then plus we can fucking like butt his ass too. Yeah, just punt him, you know, hit him with a golf club, something. <laughs> Burn his ass. <laughs> I saw that meme where it was like uh, it, was, it was Jason Jason Voorhees and Michael Myers. Yeah, and was, I think Jason was like, "Man, I'm tired of I'm tired of chasing these bitches." <laughs> and Mike's like, "Shit, just wait till they just wait till they trip. Bitches always trip." <laughs> 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 Hell yeah! <laughs> no, dude. Uh, I was on TikTok and they there's this one guy who made a a comic book series where Jason actually becomes a um a camp counselor instead of him being like the, oh, like, the kid. I, at Crystal Lake, yeah, yeah. I was like, "Oh shit, it's pretty cool." I kind of want to check it out. Oh damn, weren't we supposed to do like a, a slasher battle? Oh yeah, we probably. Were. Ah, that's cool. I mean, sorry, mm-hmm. we get to nah, do whatever. whatever we want. But yeah, who? Okay, well, fuck it. Then who's in your in your opinion? Who would win? Let's do let's do some verses real okay. quick. All right, Chucky versus Leprechaun. Fucking Leprechaun, dude. Obviously. I don't know about Leprechaun. So. Leprechaun basically just. Magic, yeah. So magic versus a guy with a, a fucking doll with a knife. Well, his Obviously is kind of magic. magic too, because he, if you take in what he did in the new movies, he can still split his soul. His whole, his soul, oh. <laughs> soul. <laughs> yeah, his whole <laughs> reminds me of a Always Sunny. Have you have you seen the uh, Day Man? Day Man, yeah, dude. You haven't seen that one. You gotta you, you gotta fuck yourself. <laughs> That's a, the best episode ever. No, I don't think. Anyway, seen Danny it. DeVito's like, uh, it, you got to pay the trolls toll if you want to get into that boy's soul. And he was like, he was like, you know, can you put a little more emphasis on soul? It sounds like you're saying boy's hole. He was like, no, that's what I'm saying, boy's hole. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> 
And then he's all stage singing. He's like, you got to pay the toll troll. If you want to get in that boy's hole, you got to pay the troll <laughs> troll to get in. And then Matt comes out. He goes, I'll, I'll pay the, the fee for the boy's soul. <laughs> like He puts a bunch of emphasis on soul. Everyone's like, Ugh. Every time Danny DeVito says boy's hole. <laughs> everyone's, everyone's like, like fuck yeah. They're like, God damn, dude. <laughs> fucking relax. What the fuck? <laughs> How do you even know this is a part of it? It's a it's a musical. Oh like, shit! Tra- tra- Charlie writes a musical to try to get that girl he likes to fall in love with him. Right? Is whatever. it the coffee girl? Yeah, his real wife in okay. real life. Yeah. Okay. Fuck it. That's my favorite episode. <laughs> Charlie's always writing fucking musicals or something. <laughs> Charlie's a fucking wild dude. He is. Out of everybody, he's just like God damn. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Uh, but leprechaun. Leprechaun. Yeah, I got leprechaun. Yeah. Obviously. Sounds about right, yeah. All right, well then let's keep let's keep it. How about the icons? Yeah, we should probably look these up. There's Scream. There's Michael. What do you have in your hand? Keys. Oh, um, to your house? Yeah. Yeah, I mean he's got to get in. I thought he's always living outside. <laughs> Yolo. <laughs> <laughs> you only live outside. Was it a? <laughs> There's Michael, there's Scream, there's, I guess you can call Freddy, Jason. Okay, we got, uh, who's the pinheaded guy? Pinhead. Oh, he- Hellraiser. Yeah, his, it was actually his name is Pinhead. Oh, is it Pinhead? Yeah. Okay. The movie's Hellraiser. Ah, uh, you know what? I've never seen those movies. Me Always neither. wanted to watch them. They're okay. They're. Isn't n- it something to do with the Pandora's box? Kind of, yeah. I mean, you're not gonna, if you don't see those, you're not missing out. Okay. Well, I mean, to be to be fair, you could say that with most horror movies. Yeah, because they're they're not. They're definitely for back in the day. I mean, I'll still say watching Halloween will probably still be like a really good movie nowadays. You can kind of consider that like a tradition, right? But you know, like a traditional type thing. But everything else, nah. I mean, I'm a big horror movie fan. Like Sarah right. and I, we love horror movies, but. Finding a good one these days is it's fucking hard. hard because most of them are dog shit. Right. Like, they just, they pull way too much from the old movies. hmm And then they don't really capitalize on how a horror movie should be done. Right. Not only that, they they do a lot of, like, they their storyline, they try to make a storyline out of it instead of making it shorter to where it's cre- creepier. The, they just try to, like, out you know make it long it's it, they it's either these days it's either one or two things it's hella gory right like where it's just blood and guts mm-hmm. galore or the storyline is very short it's only focused on one little small thing and right. it's full of jump scares yeah that's it like there's no Pretty real much, yeah. there's no real good storyline that like i liked i don't know why my, my mom's gonna fucking shit on me for this i liked i liked hereditary I don't think I've seen that one. That's a fucking weird movie. Okay. But the whole time you're like fixated on it. You're like, what the fuck are we watching? Like, this is weird. Like that's, and then also it's kind of, you get this eerie feeling over you. Mm. So that's, that that's the type of, like the exorcist is like the, to me, the greatest scary movie. Oh of yeah. Of course. Greatest scary it, movie it of all time. It takes hands down. Like I would probably watch that once every hundred years. Yeah. Dude, that, that, that movie traumatized me. That movie fucked me up as a kid. You lying. That one. Y'all probably never seen this one, but the horror version of Rumpelstiltskin fucked me up too. I haven't seen that. It's funny. It's well, now that I'm older, older it's, it's funny. It's funny. Okay. But as a kid, I was like, I can't believe. Like now, now that I'm older, I, I can't believe that scared me as right. a kid. Was it? I really liked to uh, get out. That's a thriller. Yeah, but still, I, I still consider it in that genre. Yeah. Well. These days, thriller and horror basically toe the line of each other. Right. Because there's no real horror movie out there. Mm. Like, Scream, back in the day, Scream that was, was considered badass. scary. Yeah. And even to this day, you can you can still consider it the most, one of the most relatable horror movies of all time. Well, yeah, because anybody would be yeah, a killer. Yeah, exactly. They sell that fucking mask. Yeah. So. And then, uh, who else? And then the voice is freaking badass. Yeah. I want, I've always... Like I was telling Sarah, I was like, when I was younger, I never, I always wanted to be Scream. My mom got me the mask and the suit, but I tore the suit. Dang. So I just had the mask, and I was like, this is whack. Like, I, <laughs> I was like, so next Halloween, I have to be Scream. Uh, Ghostface. Hey, do Plus, it. Plus, that's a dope-ass name. Hell yeah, Ghostface. Ghostface? Hell yeah. Who, who do y'all got uh, 
Michael versus Jason. Basically, b- brute force, because they're both strong as shit. Right. They're, they're humans. Ish. Well, they're humans with, like, put their... Pos- supernatural their, powers. Yeah, like yeah, supernatural powers are possessed-ish. Yeah. So, they both have insane amount of movies. Yeah. I don't even know how many fucking uh, Fridays, Friday the 13th there are now. There's a lot. There's got to be, because they had Jason X, so mm-hmm. that was part 10, and then they kept making them. Yeah. And then fucking... My, Halloween's still going. Didn't one just come out? Yeah, this so, year. I would say, I, I want to give it to... I want to give it to Myers, and if, if I'm like saying like, well, it was my favorite, but just... See, yeah, I'll still, I'll still give it to Myers. I, I gotta go with Jason because he's act, we've actually seen him die, and he still came back. He went to space. Granted, that's bullshit. You're right, <laughs> and really doesn't make any sense at all. But I don't know. Well, I mean, like, didn't he they kill? Did, didn't yeah. he kill Freddy? Who? Uh, Jason? Jason? Not really. I mean, well, I mean, he's kind of. Really, but I mean, didn't he win that battle per se? I would say yeah. Hmm. I kind of want to call Aya because she she knows more about this shit than us. Because uh, because I know in that movie he he does beat him, but it wasn't like, you know, it it didn't get rid of him. You get what I'm saying? Oh yeah, because I mean he's he's a nightmare, he's a lingering thought, like a nightmare creature. Yeah, he's a lingering thought. Once like you get the conversation started, he's kind of like a controversial topic. Once you get it started, boom. Yeah, <laughs> he's on everyone's everyone's minds. Yeah. Bees, do you have a favorite scary movie? It doesn't have to be, like, scary, scary. I know you said Shaun of the Dead, which is technically, like... Yeah, it's te- a zombie movie. Um, I'm not a horror fan, so... Like, I like comedy, so... Like, the only scary movies that, you know, quote, scary movies that I saw that I enjoyed were, like, Shaun of the Dead and Tucker and Dale. Right. So and that's that's heavy on the comedy. My, yeah, my favorite horror comedy would probably be the house on uh, the cabin house in on, the woods. Yeah, cabin in the woods. <laughs> that one's the most ridiculous one for sure. That makes me laugh so Hell much. Hell yeah, it brings me a smile. Like in Thor. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he was thinking. That 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 bike had nowhere near enough speed. Oh yeah, <laughs> if that wall wasn't there, he was still gonna die. <laughs> that, that, that hole was like the size of Lake Somerville. He's like. I'm going to jump this fucking... <laughs> I'm going to make it. All right, evil can evil do what you do. <laughs> All right, dumbass, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot. I, I guess... Scary Movie 1. Hey. Because, on, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a dumb comedy. It's fucking retarded as shit. But it still had, like, the suspense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, everything else after that just kind of, like, lost a lot of that suspense. Well, yeah, because Scary Movie 2 was heavy, heavy on, on the, the comedy. comedy. Yeah. That shit was so fucking hilarious. Yeah, that was, a, that was a straight up comedy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But the yeah. first one had, like, oh, yeah, the, the horror suspense, yeah. suspense in it, so. Well, let me look up a list of horror comedy movies, because. We can do, we can actually do, like, a freaking. Uh, a, a damn bracket off yeah. those, because. Mm. Uh, because I love comedy. I mean, granted, I do watch horror movies here and there, but not really. If it's good, I'll probably take a look at it. But if not, then not really. Unless it's like the Conjuring movies. But Oh, I like those too. Yeah. Man, Sarah went to a damn haunted house Saturday, I think. Yeah. She said that was pretty dope. I was trying. I, t- I was telling her, I was like, there, there is one in Houston where you can win $500 if you don't scream at all. But it's not a typical... Haunted house. What like, about you punch somebody? Does that still count? No, you're out. Oh, and it does happen. It yeah. definitely does happen. Uh, my my knee jerk reaction is, you know, it's a what Yeah, because there's there's a there's a, there's a few people like let's put let's put it this way. This one is so scary. There's a guy who's gone to every haunted house and not screamed, and when he got to this one, he screamed like damn. four or five times. Yeah, God damn. Well, but also like I was like I'm saying, it's not a normal jump scare type thing like there's a part where you actually fall through a trap door to get to the, the to get to the next level if right. you will the where it gets even scarier oh, and shit. before and before he even got there he uh he was he had already screamed once or twice okay 
But once he fell, he was like, "Oh shit!" You know, I mean, uh, who wouldn't scream? Uh, yeah, and it's not a, it's not a huge fall, you know, but it's you know, there's a bunch of padding and shit, right? But yeah, I think Brian can do it. I honestly think. Doubt it. Really? Yeah. They've literally no one has never gone in there and not screamed. I Every, think Brian's everyone, man enough to do it. It doesn't matter about being a man. <laughs> it's if 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 he if he was outside in the middle of nowhere. And someone fucking jumped ah, behind him. Right. You would, oh fuck! It's just, oh, is that considered yeah. screaming? Yeah. Okay. Anything, just mm, like any kind of noise. Oh. Like you have to be silent. So you just gotta be like. Yeah, you have to be stone faced throughout the whole thing. Yeah, I don't think. That's what I'm saying. Like you win five hundred dollars, and I think it's a. It takes you seven minutes to get through there, or something like that. Yeah. If, if you just walk at a normal pace, seven to ten, whatever. But yeah, no, no one's ever gone in there and not screamed. Mm. I don't know if it still exists. Because I heard about it in, like, 2009. Oh, yeah. So, you never know. Mm. And then apparently, like, you had to sign, like, multiple waivers. Because if you have a heart condition. Right. If you have uh, epilepsy and all that shit. That can cause. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's the only reason I don't like haunted houses. Because the, oh, yeah, the flashing lights. Yeah, yeah, those fuck me up. I'm not even epileptic, but I'll still get, like, Ooh. weirded. And then, obviously, that just triggers anxiety for me. Like, it just makes the whole ride even worse. Yeah, yeah. Like I was like, I was telling Sarah, I was like, I wouldn't have any fun, and it's so fucking loud in those things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because all you hear is. Ah! I was watching that uh, Bad Friends, where I guess they went to like a a scary, basically like a haunted house type thing. Yeah, and like you could just hear like loud music, and then they people were like jumping out, and then it was like strobe lights. I'm like, see, I don't, I don't fuck with stuff like that. Mm. I never really been to a haunted house. I mean, we did something like this. For uh, for our senior project kind of thing to raise money for our senior project, and I just did like a little small thing for like uh for our senior project. It was all right. It wasn't, you know, I wouldn't say it was like scary, scary, but it was cool. Well, no, if you really want to go to a haunted house, you got to go to a dedicated haunted house, mm-hmm. not one that like a bunch of friends threw together. Like right. it's got to be one of those like, big, really yeah, like, like big big production. Type that's where you'll be like, oh shit, I I need to change my underwear because <laughs> they don't fuck around. I fuck but, around and find out. Yeah, you will. <laughs> I'm bringing some CD with me. <laughs> <laughs> Knock a motherfucker out on sight. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Bitch, you want to play with me today? <laughs> no, but I I couldn't do it. Houston style, baby. <laughs> so you gonna start throwing bows on motherfuckers? Right. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Have y'all ever been to a haunted house or no? I've been to uh, two. One was a legit haunted house, and then one was, uh, I think we talked about it. Uh, what's her name? Miss Perez? No, not not Miss Perez. Oh, uh, fuck. I can't remember her name. Uh, where Jessica used to live? You know, you know you've been, oh, I don't know if y'all have been there before. I've right, never for, been to her house. Oh, well, over the train tracks. One of their neighbors would do it every single year. They would uh, put together a haunted house. Okay. And it was it was pretty legit. And one time, me and Tuck helped out, and we we were uh, the people who Scare scared the little kids and stuff. So that was cool. But then then the other one was in, I think it may have been like right outside of Austin years ago. Mm. You know what's crazy though? A lot of haunted houses usually do it just to raise money for something. Yeah. What I which I think is pretty cool. Yeah. The, the the non-dedicated ones, yeah, because those, that obviously, that's for profit. But, yeah, I know which ones you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, one of the hospitals Sarah used to work for, they they would do that every year. Right. Like on, they would, like on one of the wings, they would just clear it out, whatever, and then they would do a haunted house in there. Mm. And then all that would go to, like, kids Charity, with cancer yeah, or, stuff, you know, stuff like that. I thought it was so cool. I think it's cool when they do that. But have you been in a haunted house? Not really. I know I I went to one when I was a kid, but it was fucking lame. Yeah, it was really fucking lame. Damn. But it was, I think it was over there at at uh, the bingo hall or whatever. Oh uh, yeah, it was super lame. You know, like stick your hand in the spaghetti. And- Ooh. You know the the peeled grapes and stuff Ooh, like that. You know, it's supposed to be eyeballs. You know? Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. When when it's a quote unquote haunted house, 
like the that. The backyard ones. Yeah, the backyard ones. That's where you're like, all right. That's fucking lame. <laughs> be De- like, definite, but it's definitely for little little kids. Yeah, right? yeah that, that's for the little kids. Be stuff. the dad who's like in the background. Ooh. <laughs> I, saw, I saw one where uh, at one point, and this is in someone's house. Yeah. This was fucking dope. As soon as you walk in, uh, it was basically like the 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 mu- the, the music video of Thriller. Mm. Yeah. So so like everyone was dressed up like zombies and like werewolves and shit, and like that that song was just playing over and over, and like you had to get to the top. Like, I guess like the master bedroom. Yeah. And then they had like a slide for you to quote unquote escape, like slide out. Oh like shit! Like the like the airplane ones, you know the the emergency. They had one of those so you could like run away and shit. It looked pretty dope. Like like the the fridge was a how oh, far I can't remember, but basically it was like open the fridge when you open the fridge it looked like real like decapitated heads in there and shit. I was like, God damn, well y'all went all out for this for motherfucker. God damn, like yeah. that's dope. Hell yeah. Hmm. And oh, and then they had two uh, two little girls, whatever, like the little girls from The Shining and yeah. shit. They were just, they were just, yeah, they were just standing there. I was like, oh, hell no. At the top of the stairs, I was like, (laughs) fuck fuck this. this. How do I get out of this bitch? (laughs) Oh, hell no. Yeah, now that this bitch. (laughs) Start start putting them hoes like Chucky. (laughs) Da, da. You can get equal rights and equal lefts. Bro, speaking of equal rights and equal lefts, there's a fucking, hold on. This is crazy. Well, no, not, not crazy. I'm not gonna say crazy. But so there's this place. Shut up. God damn, can you turn the volume on? For real. What are you, Namar? Trying to kill the volume. Oh, was, okay. Uh, it's called MMA VIP. They had an actual sanctioned fight a man versus a woman. Oh, shit. Bruh. What happened? I don't even know how it ended. I think they both sucked dick. <laughs> God damn. Dude was throwing punches. like he, he was like flailing his arms and shit. Yeah. But yeah, it was a man versus a woman. It looks like he choked her out. But everyone in the comments is like, what the fuck? How can this happen? Well, it's like, well, first of all, that's not in America. She Clearly. I. Yeah, because <laughs> if it was in America, it would have been like top news. Hold on. Let me read. Shut up. What I would have wanted is like the top lady who's on uh mma and the top guy who's on mma fight i want to see that go down and then someone said haha don't be upset it's already been sanctioned several times in the u.s the guys just have long hair and brawls on <laughs> <God damn. laughs> shout out to the lgbtq community <laughs> bro chappelle chappelle fired back on the most i know you saw the little yeah. clip he's all like you're gonna meet me where i want to meet y'all uh, admit Hannah Gosby's not funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, what was the third? Uh, I, I can't oh, they have to finish and watching the yeah, whole special. Yeah, because yeah, they took so much out of context. Yeah, because they didn't see it. Nope. Because everybody was all like, "Did you see the new uh, Chappelle show uh, stand up?" And they're like, "Well, no, what happened? He was talking about trans people. What? No, fuck that guy." And you're like, "Wait, hold up! You didn't even see it." I did hear someone, and they made a very good point, how this is like a, a continuation of uh, Sticks and Stones. Yeah. And they're like, he needs to move on from the trans community at this point. I like the special, but he is kind of just adding fuel to a fire that was slowly dying out. Yeah. Right. So I, I No, think- but I mean, like... I like the way that he's doing it because he already told us that he's done with talking about it. But the thing is, is that he wants to have a conversation for it to be like officially like closed in the book saying like, hey, I want to get to know you people instead of just, you know, being the way that it, everything is. One, you're taking a lot of my jokes out of context. Two, I might not be understanding what's actually coming from y'all. You get what I'm saying? That's what I feel like what may be happening on his side i understand where the other side is coming from in the sense of they're not understanding his jokes i don't know i just i feel like it's a conversation to not be had on stage i think it'd be cool to have on stage like him having a show 
like how he always does and then bring everybody kind of like when he had a uh, uh, Daphne just him and her just kind of having those conversations of like what is what is you know but this time it's all just that alphabet group in mm. one spot that sounds really boring yeah and not only that but that's uh, when you put it like that it kind of reminds me of like people recording them doing shit for the homeless mm. yeah like like i said it, it's a con that's a if it's if it is in his world a conversation that big yeah that needs to be had then it just needs to be had in private mm. that would be like me beefing with navar i'm like all right we'll come on the show and we'll talk about it I'm right like, no let's let's end this shit right now off mic in you know in private and then we can just go on about our lives because he's so much bigger he is damn near as big as the movement itself right so as long as he's you know him and the trans community or the lgbtq community are good then he doesn't he should he, doesn't, he shouldn't have to address it as much as he's been addressing it basically mm. like he'd just be like all right i said some jokes you didn't like them let's let's talk it over whatever but i guess since he is that big the only place he can address it is to on, reach yeah. everybody is on stage but everybody would want to know what he will say you get what i'm saying i i feel like because i would definitely would want to know and see both points of view just because i just want to see both I mean, y'all may not care at all, but that's just me. I don't really care because it's fucking jokes. Yeah, right. that that's yeah, that, that's where I stand because I'm so I'm such a big East Coast comedy guy. They don't give a fuck about anything. See you line. So I mean, they they could sit there and have a table full of transgender people and call them trannies to their face, <laughs> go on about their day, and then the next night do the exact same set. They don't give a fuck. Elon. It's, Why do you think I love Chris? It, it's it's the fucking the West Coast comics yeah. on the, in that whole liberal community that that are fucking up comedy for everyone. Oh yeah, no, I get that. And social media, but I would love to hear the whole conversation of like because maybe it's yeah he does the jokes, but he maybe he wants to go beyond those jokes of understanding trans people in general. Because I mean there are some conversations that. I would probably would like to have or hear about them too. Cause again, with uh, some people saying like the bare minimum of us saying like, Oh, we just want y'all to have rights. Everything else is kind of just whatever y'all do. We don't give a damn. But for them, that could be like, Hey, that's, you're not doing that. The effort of getting to know us, maybe, maybe not, but I would just rather hear what they have to say. That's just me. I mean, I'm I'm not a part of the LGBTQ community, so <clears throat> spare me here. But um, that fight has already been fought, right? And they've won. Yeah, in yeah. a sense, they, they yeah the 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 real people who have sacrificed their entire life and happiness and freedom is yeah black people. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not, we're talking about the LGBTQ oh, community. Okay. I'm saying those people have already been fucking crucified. Yeah, from the seventies up until the mid nineties, they, they you know they they weren't able to be themselves because right. they would be fucking bashed publicly or you know like back in the gap, man, like people would lose their jobs over being gay. Right. Like now, it's norm. It's a normal thing as it should be, but right. it's only like that because those people already won the fight. Yeah, like they they sacrificed so fucking much. Like they 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 legit sacrifice a lifetime of happiness, so these motherfuckers can come out on social media and bitch about whatever it is they want to bitch about. Hmm. I just I just think to me I just think there are bigger issues. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No. I, I see that. That's that's my thing. And then they're taking jokes way the fuck out of context. Right. You know what I mean? Like it's fucking jokes. You want equal rights? You're gonna catch these fucking jokes. <laughs> you know. That's that's the way it is. Okay. And that's just me. I mean, no, I, I mean to be to be honest, if he did do something like that, I may watch it. But I just think he's bigger. I think he's bigger than that, and be he should be beyond that. Well, either way, I feel like he he's not gonna even probably not gonna even touch about that. He's probably gonna touch about how them are they are 
uh, punching down on yeah the the black community. And they are yeah they are they, they, they use their I guess gay pull yeah to to shit on everyone to yeah to Karenize people yeah because I mean like I movies I've seen, races you know race whatever the fuck yeah. that they why why isn't this being portrayed by a gay guy or a trans person or a right. fucking bi person or blah blah blah. And when an you actual, get it. Yeah. But like with black people, they still have to fight for lead roles. Oh yeah. Oh no, so, I, oh definitely. So I mean I would like to see that conversation. For sure. See how they see how they react. Yeah. Cause they might pull the white card and be like, whoa, whoa, whoa he, I'm the victim. Yeah, he should he should have fucking ended that hoe with the fucking balls in your court, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Because I've done my part. <laughs> yeah. There needs to there needs to be some type of sensible conversation, but it's never gonna happen because the person who will talk to him is gonna be a fucking hardcore extremist. Oh yeah. Who like uh there's a video, old video. Where Joe Rogan did, he had a set about like women or something like that, <laughs> and uh, like this woman came up to him was like trying to be all friendly and blah blah blah, and then out of nowhere she just starts like cutting his set in half, and you know he's a smart guy, right? So he went back and forth with her and won the battle, Damn. and then uh, he was like, "See, had she came at me like a normal person, we could have had this conversation like a normal person, but instead voices were raised, and then." I didn't convince her of anything. She didn't convince me of anything. So, so that that's that's why arguments are fucking pointless. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but right when he said uh, when the, when he was making a woman joke, I thought of that meme where he's all like, uh, "Women's in the sixteen uh, hundreds, I think which <laughs> yeah, <laughs> facts. <laughs> Who taught you how to read? <laughs> Love that meme. That was a whole fucking wild era. He in line. Dude, the 1600s and the 1700s. That shit was wild. <laughs> 1950s were fucking crazy, my <laughs> guy. Line. What do you mean? I mean, our <laughs> lifetime is fucking yeah, bitches wild, Bitches were dude. getting dicked for being like, oh, hey, we're out of jelly. What the fuck do you say? <laughs> ta, ta, ta. Isn't there like a law in some city where he can beat your wife on a Sunday? <laughs> Like in the front yeah, of the court, yeah, I think it's I think it's like Louisiana or something like that. That's fucking wild. Just like, all right, all right, bitch, let's go to the fucking court. I imagine not many people know about that law, right? But when they did know about that law, ee. bro, I just found out like fairly recently, or I actually I just remembered fairly recently that there is a bunch of towns in Texas where they don't have cop cars. Everything's still done on horse. Word, yeah. Nice. And well, like, they have like six shooter pistols instead of nine millimeters. You know what's crazy? I've been to a town in Texas where it doesn't have card. Like it's still just running like registers. Cash? Cash. Wow. I know. Do they have ATMs at least? No. Wow. It's it's straight up just like no like chips, no nothing, just straight up just cash. But they're fighting that collapse with the US dollar, huh? Yeah. <laughs> But it, I think it's crazy because, I mean, like, it, it it just blows my mind how people think we're so advanced. But there's still a lot of places in Texas, the Midwest, that are still underdeveloped. Mm-hmm. Or they may not be underdeveloped. It's just they're more of a, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. You know, like, they, they, like, they prefer that simple lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. Which I get, but God damn, you got to have some type of modern technology in there. Right. It just makes life easier. It does, but they just probably don't want to move forward with the modern technology. I once worked. I once worked at a warehouse where they took inventory by pa- by pa- pen and uh, paper. <sighs> that yeah. was a pain in the ass. Yeah, because you literally have to like double check, crazy, just one how many you have, and then write it down, and then double check again, just because you don't want to be wrong. And then I and then right after that, I went to a one uh, job where I was working at a a machine shop. Where everything was all digital, and I was like, "Oh, this is so much easier." Oh yeah, like it, like if someone pulled a drill bit out of that bin, it was uh, weighted, you know. So it was like, you're, like this bin is only supposed to have like maybe let's say fifteen. If someone pulled out two, the weight would go down, and I would get a notification 
like, to hey. update it. I'm like, oh, right. geez, like this is so much fucking easier. Oh man, that's that sounds nice. Yeah, because then I'll be like, oh shit, I know where it is. Boom, put it back, and that's it. Yep. Hell yeah. What the hell is that noise? That's me. Oh. Oh. How was How's that noise? Fu- oh. oh. Not the fan. I think. Oh, it is. The might fan. have been the. Oh, the AC. AC. Oh. It's something. It's what ebbs. I but think yeah. it's Brian. Yeah, it's Brian. But yeah, that uh, that shit made my that it was like night and day going from writing everything down old school to, to just like, being like oh, digital, this shit's like yeah. on a scale. That man, that's fucking amazing. Yeah, we made some some we've made so many goddamn advancements in yeah. everything these days, mm-hmm. especially in the medical field. Yeah, Jesus, what was the lifespan back in the gap? Thirty. Thirty, <laughs> if you were lucky, <laughs> right? That that was just like man, you're. That was like our eighties, <laughs> getting yeah, into thirties. <laughs> <Yeah. shit. laughs> well, shit, back in the gap, fucking diarrhea was a death sentence. <laughs> what was that movie? Was it a uh, goddamn? The, it was the Seth MacFarlane movie. The, the, the West, West, yeah, some ways to die or something. Oh yeah, What's like a hundred ways like, to die in the West or something like yeah, that. Something something like like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, where uh, it's like. Charlie, uh, Charlie Theron, whatever her parents, either her parents or his parents, they end up getting diarrhea, and he's like, "Well, it's, it's been real, son." He's like, "But, but you're only you're only forty <laughs> one, or no, no, you're only twenty one, or some shit like that." I can't remember how old he was, but yeah, he had the squirts. He was on in the outhouse, and you just see him blowing ass all over the place. He's like, "It's been real. <laughs> this is how I die." Like Jesus Christ. Man, the, the sadness in people's eyes back in the day, just being like, "Oh man, I got the shits. I'm gone." Right? Man, imagine having the beat, dude. Like I've had the Bee Gees my entire life. <laughs> God, I should have been gone dude. for real. <laughs> you ain't lying. I would have been lucky to have seen nine years old. <laughs> Oof, he ain't lying. That's, Fuck, it's crazy. Like. What is it? What was that one medicine that they had? That shit had like chloroform and like all kind of crazy shit in there. And they were like, "Yeah, just take a shot of this and you'll be all right." It's like al- alcohol, chloroform, all these crazy chemicals you should not be putting in your body mixed right. together. Damn. And people would just throw take that down the hatch. God damn! But there's still a lot of herbal stuff that I feel like we got rid of just because the medical field wants to make more money. Um, that definitely still works like for ear aches um ear um infections and all that stuff if you cut a garlic and just put it in your ear apparently that works not like shove it in but like put it like right there in that little hole right there just outside keep it in there for a couple of minutes and then take it out it should clear most of it up did when you when you had an ear infection did your parents ever use to fucking roll up paper and then burn the end of it to like no, suck I've the air never, out or whatever. I've never done that. No, I only heard it in school once, and I was like, "Where the that shit does that not shit work?" Works. I don't know why people do that. I don't know. I don't know. And then they actually make kits that you're like, it's like wax paper or whatever. Yeah. And it like it, it's like you put it around your ear to avoid any type of ash falling in it or whatever. But yeah, like they actually sell kits like that shit now. And I was like, bro, that does not work. That is like no straight up. Old wives' tale bullshit. Yeah, I just use the shit that they have at a Walmart, where you put like that, like the drops, the in. drops, and then I just wash it out with the water, cleans it all out. Yeah, yeah. G- generally, swimmer's ear will take care of any type of ear problems that you have. It'll pull or, or you know, right. But I don't know. So well, let me see what's in know, the that's snake like oil. Wild. That's what they call it. It's the snake oil. What? Try, I'm trying to get a uh, a look at what they put in this fucking medicine back in the day. <laughs> Brian, like, would you take it? No. <laughs> Do you have a price? No. <laughs> Not. Fucking snake oil salesman. One night cough syrup, alcohol, less than 1%, four and a quarter milliliters, cannabis indica, four and a half milliliters. <laughs> Chloroform, <laughs> two and a half milliliters. <laughs> morphine, morphine sulfate. Hell yeah, one eighth of a gram. Dog, what the fuck? We're missing out, dog. <laughs> you ain't bullshit. 
<laughs> you ain't going to have a cough. No. Because you ain't going to be fucking conscious. <laughs> <laughs> or, or alive, depending on how much you take of that shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Hell yeah, that's but, fucking badass. Which well, I think we've talked about it before, like back in the uh, uh, medieval, t- not medieval times, but like the plague era or whatever. Yeah, they were like drinking ale. Oh yeah, because I thought it was cleaner than water. Jesus, just imagine being shit faced twenty four. Well, well, fucking. I guess the Mayans used to be high all day. Yeah, but not only that. Like, imagine like being like having leeches on you all the time because back in the day they used leeches for like medical stuff too mm-hmm. they still use them or it's more so maggots well both i think they still do both yeah they they do both but i mean like they use leeches heavily oh yeah yeah, yeah. like oh, oh you got this shit we'll, i get you leeches because I, I, I guess like back in the gap it was just all about like you need new blood right yeah that was pretty much it because like bloodletting used to be a thing yeah mm-hmm. that's gotta be so bad yeah, it's fucking terrible for you. I'm surprised we lived this long, goddamn. The advancements we've made, I mean, are from that shit. <laughs> he ain't like lying. It, it makes I mean makes a lot sense. of a lot of shit our advancements are from the the Germans. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, I saw this old war documentary one time. I think I may have talked about this before also. But uh back in like World War Two when we were over there. Our guns were so shit compared to their guns that if we killed a German, we took their guns. We took their guns because yeah. we were like, "Oh shit, this is like advanced, like a motherfucker." Like our guns ain't shit, right. and they're not accurate. Like the fucking bullets are flying all over the goddamn place. Yeah, line. No, dude, I heard this one theory that we could have ended World War Two a lot more sooner, but they wanted to wait to finish to finish watching what the Germans were doing with their medical advancements. And the medical stuff, they've been, or not even the medical stuff, this, the shit that they were doing to to all the Jews, because they were, like, completely, like, finding out a whole bunch of crazy shit about the human, like, anatomy. So they were just like, let's let them kind of, like, finish it out, Damn. and then we'll come in and save everybody. It's fucked up. Yeah. I don't fucking know. A, a big majority of our medical advancements come from slaves. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah. I mean, it's it's unfortunate as fuck, yeah. but I mean, that's how you have to... That's why, like, nowadays, like, people sign up to be lab rats, because they're like, how does this I shit might as work? Well, yeah. I might as well get paid like a motherfucker to fucking right. do all this. I would hope. We saw this movie called Old, the M. Night Shyamalan movie. I don't th- it it was sounds like, familiar. It was... It, it's fairly recent. It just came out, like, I think last year or whatever. Mm. It's really fucking dope. Oh, yeah? This island has, like magical uh like uh chemical not chemicals but uh you know like yeah i guess chemicals whatever but basically if you're there for 24 hours you'll have age a lifetime oh shit yeah so like these the, the movie starts with these little kids no spoiler alerts but obviously it's called old yeah for a reason but like they start off as kids and then in like a matter of an hour they're like 40. They look 12 years old or something Damn. like that. 12, 15 years old. Like, it's it's wild. Like, and then there's, like, an older lady on there who came on the, the island or the little by the beach as an old lady. And, you know, you're aging so f- rapidly. Yeah. It, it, it's a crazy fucking movie. Huh. But he, So, he, wait. How long can you be on the island, though? Until you die of old age? Uh, or you 24 don't? 24 hours. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Just based off of their... Uh, like their uh, analysis, yeah. Mm. It was a wild fucking movie. Would y'all ever go to an island like that? Hell no, Hell no. Would y'all ever go to an island that would reverse your? Nope. Really? Mm-mm. Not not to get back to to your teens. If there if there was a uh, a limit, okay. Like hey, it's gonna take you back to eighteen, or you'll feel eighteen. I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, I'd do that. But no, no fucking way because it, you you end up like Benjamin Button, right. Fuck that noise. <laughs> that was a dope ass fucking movie. That I'm movie glad that you told me about that movie. Yeah, I told you. I don't remember. Yeah. You were like, yeah, yeah, man. We were talking about Benjamin Button and you and Navar kept on going back and forth. And I was like, I never seen this movie. And you're like, bitch, you need to watch this movie. Oh, I was like, oh okay, cool. 
Så ja, ja, det er muligt fuck. Dope. Hell yeah. That ending though. Yeah. Fuck. If you haven't seen it, y'all need to watch that shit. That's a good ass fucking movie. I'm not gonna lie. It's a great. F- I guess it's considered fantasy movie, but yeah. it's fucking dope. It's a good movie. I I, I don't recommend anybody. Yeah. Have you seen it? Maybe. You know he hadn't seen it. Why are you <laughs> Probably asking? Probably not. <laughs> why, are you, why are you asking that man that shit? <laughs> <laughs> Brian's been through some shit. <laughs> he is Benjamin Button. <laughs> he is Benjamin. God damn. He's aged backwards. Shit. We got the we got the exact opposite. What's that one uh condition where you're born with uh you you're like a baby but you age like that movie Jack. That's the one I think I saw, Jack. With Robin Williams. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's like twelve maybe or something like that, but he looks like he's in his forties. Right. Yeah. I don't remember the name of that condition, but that's a real thing. Hmm. Progeria? Maybe. I mean, obviously, the movie obviously took it to extreme. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, to get more ticket sales and all that. Yeah. yeah. You know, they got to put their cin- their cinematic twist on it or oh, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Hollywood. Hollywood ass shit. Bro, speaking of Hollywood. Oh, shit. Got an update on uh, what happened with that chick, H- Helena Hudgens. Who's her? Alec Baldwin. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, apparently... <clears throat> what had happened was is on set the original crew that was there came up to the production house or whatever the fuck it is yeah. and said they wanted more pay and they wanted better uh, housing because they're in the fucking desert right and they didn't get that so they dipped out and an emergency crew was brought in who probably didn't know how to handle the props the way that the that original did. crew did. Right. So even through all of those layers of quote unquote, you know, defense to make sure there was no bullets in there, a real bullet was still put in there. Damn. So it wasn't Alex's fault. Right. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Obviously. Well, yeah. But I mean, you know, for those who were probably thinking, oh, nah, he shot that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Look at me. Yeah. <laughs> that Pulp Fiction one was the fucking greatest one I've ever seen. <laughs> It's oh shit, place. I shot Marvin in the face. <laughs> you actually shoot Marvin in the face. I don't know, you hit a bump. Motherfucker, I ain't hit no bump. <laughs> but, uh, <We're> fucked up. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so I don't know who's in trouble now. Out. Whoever, whoever those prop masters are or whatever. Technically, yeah. Because, I mean, like, they should have they known. Yeah, no, I was going to say, they... they they were brought in last minute, but still, they you were brought in to do a job. You've already you already know how to do. Right. You should have yeah. fucking double checked your shit. Mm. They probably were just like, man, these guys already knew what they were doing, so they probably just like, all right, boom, 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 boom. even if they weren't filled in, my my job to make sure everyone stays alive would be like, let's fucking quadruple check everything. Right. Yeah. Because if not, th- literally, this blood is on our hands. Like, and we, now it is. Yeah. So. I hope yeah. they figure it out. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, it's still under investigation and shit, right. but I was like, God damn. I can't believe it. But it makes sense now that something like that would happen. Right. Yeah. And it makes sense why they have a big crew like that for, you know, double checking if everything is in the right place. So double check everything. Yeah, for real. Especially if it can cause somebody to die. Yeah, that, 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 like I said, you know, obviously the memes are funny, but it is a fucked up thing that happened because, oh, yeah, cause yeah. You, how you just go to work one day and get shot, right? And then the fucking what director got like a wound too? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, R.I.P. to her, man. That's fucked yeah. up. Fucked up situation. Anyway, let's uh change it up, change it a little bit. Stone, hit him with some Tarzan. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, Negro, that's, that's all, all you, you had, had to say. say. I mean, have y'all heard of this game? <clears throat> it's called a uh, Bo Bo Taoshi. What? It's it's a game called Bo Taoshi, and it's basically fucking human capture the flag. So it it looks like a like a wall of death is about to happen. Like fifty people on this side, fifty people on this side. And then there's this, like, I don't know, 20-foot fucking pole in the air where there's a human being standing. 
and the job is the 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 whole objective is to just go over there and shake the pole until this person falls off and you win the game. Uh yeah. is there like mats under there? Nope. It looked like they were playing on fucking cobblestone. Oh hell no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is this a show? Is this a real thing? It's a televised it's a televised event in Japan. Oh hell no. Yeah. Of course this is Japan. Of course. I mean we're come on. Suicide fucking force. Suicide is badass. <laughs> but no, fucking, I They're saw. Probably doing him a favor. I mean, I I couldn't believe that how fa- how far, far this up, dude yeah. fell. Like they just go up to it and they're sh- and like the goal is obviously you want half of your team to go and then the other half has to protect right the guy who could possibly die. I was like, holy sheep shit, <laughs> and like and it was crazy. Like, y'all seen World War Z? Yeah, or at least the the trailer where like those zombies are like making like the human ladder mm-hmm. to climb. They were doing that shit. Oh shit! Because the dude wouldn't, one dude wouldn't fall. Like he would just like like a uh, uh when nature calls. Oh yeah, yeah. Then when the dude's standing on that totem thing, whatever, with one foot and uh, Ace is shooting spitballs at him and shit. <laughs> like that dude had that kind of balance. Damn. Like real G shit, and he wouldn't fall. So finally, they just like start making a ladder. To like pull him down, I was like, "This is fucking crazy!" God damn, why are they doing this? Oh hell no! Would y'all do something like that or no? Fuck uh, no. no! Would y'all be a part of the team that be trying Fuck to get that? No, dude down? I'm not going to be responsible for somebody dying. <laughs> this yeah, is fucking right. crazy. I'll be the ref, and that's it. I wouldn't even <laughs> want to witness that shit. Word. Fuck no! <laughs> God damn. Like, I've seen some skateboard bails, and I'm like, ah, I wish I hadn't seen that shit. Like, that's yeah. fucked up. Yeah, I can't see those. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, like watching somebody eat that much shit, nah, I'm good. I would hope someone's down there to catch him. Well, I mean, they, there's, there's people, like, surrounding them. Yeah. Like, obviously, but you're still, like, if someone falls from that high, the amount of Gs that they're fucking coming with, <laughs> like, it's going to fucking hurt. They're going to get hurt. I mean, I wonder how much they're getting paid. I... <laughs> Good question. I didn't even look into that. I would it imagine made, like some pretty good money. I would hope. What if it was just for fun? <laughs> just for like respect? <laughs> <Fuck> <laughs> that. Who has the biggest ball? <laughs> Fuck that noise. <laughs> They're wilder than white people. <laughs> you ain't lying. But they do have some crazy games over there. Yeah, they do. But they look fun though. Some, some of them. them. Some of them, yeah. Like, I don't know. I, I, I did see one. Uh, what is it where they like cover them in like KY jelly or lube or something and they have to go up that that balloon slide whatever the first one to make it up there gets like whatever whatever their currency is but it's a lot and then Ninja Warrior oh yeah that's yeah come on oh, it's, what was that one stupid ass show you know you already know what I'm talking about yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. MXC MXC yeah Most watching it at night yeah yeah, yeah. dude bro, that shit was on, fucking it was a Spike TV or whatever yeah. Yeah. bro that shit was great <laughs> They're wearing those like little things. Yeah, yeah. They're like with fans and everything. Super sitting stereotypical. Like this. Yeah. yeah. And it was dubbed over. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna do this. Let's go team. And then you see the little Chinese girl doing or Asian chick just jump on and be like, Yeah. Bro, I haven't seen that in forever. <laughs> Holy that shit, shit was great. That I was know. like late night spike TV or Hell some yeah. shit like that. People think we're watching porn, but we're not. We're watching fucking that show. Motherfuckers used to eat shit on that <laughs> yeah, show. Yeah, they did. <laughs> like, that shit was... Dude, they have, like, old-ass fucking people doing it, too. They don't give a fuck. No. They're, they're, everyone can catch these rights and lives. <laughs> they're like, all right, let's do it. Then it boom. I then love- it always start off with someone, like, it would be, uh, like, a girl. And she was like... Hi, I'm about to kick yeah. this thing's ass or some shit like that. And then, like, right away, she would just, like, fly into a tree or something. You're like, Jesus Christ. Like, why is this legal? No, my favorite is when, like, the, the contestant has, like, a theme to them. Yeah. Like, the octopus oh, man. Yeah, yeah, he has, yeah. like, an octopus with them and everything. And then he just does horrible. <laughs> yeah. Like, that one, it was this one, skin, I'm talking, like, skinnier than me. And he was like, I'm, I'm, in the, I'm the ninja of the night or something like that. And then he's supposed to, like... You know how they have the poles, hop across the poles, whatever. Yeah. And bro, the first one he made, the second one he just bottom of his chin. I was oh. like, oh, you can say goodbye to those teeth. <laughs> yeah. He just fucking cow, and then just went and fell into some Gosh. water. And I was like, is anyone gonna fucking retrieve this guy? <laughs> like his lifeless body in this ocean? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hell no. 
dude, that show is fucking wild. Are you looking it up? Yeah. Hell yeah. So it. So here's the thing. It was a TV show in the 80s. It was a Japanese game show in the 80s called Takeshi's Castle. Okay. But what these guys did was basically dub over it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> that's all they did. They just dubbed over it <laughs> to make it funnier. <laughs> <laughs> they gave them all these like fucking crazy names like Kenny Blankenship. Hell yeah. Guy LaDouche. <laughs> Guy LaDouche. <laughs> <laughs> We need to have a night to fucking watch that shit. <laughs> Dude, hell yeah. That shit was ridiculous. That shit was uh, funny as shit. It's saying it's on Amazon Prime. Really? Yeah. You sure we don't have to rent it? Yeah, ain't lying. <laughs> Might have to buy the whole season or something. For real, I, I hate that they do that. They'd be like, oh, it's on Amazon Prime. Oh, word. You go to check it out. Oh, you got to rent it for like twelve ninety nine. What the fuck? Yeah, like, I think, I think we rented a movie from there and it was... Six ninety nine for a four K and five ninety nine for regular HD. But I was like, "What well, fucking is this shit on Redbox? I would go pay two dollars for this hoe." For real, the you fuck? like it's, it's saying there's eighty one episodes. Damn, you know what's crazy though? Have you ever have y'all ever stumbled across a show that only had like maybe one or two seasons, but you thought there were like seventeen seasons because yeah. it was always on. Yeah. Uh, and every time it was on, you were like, I've never seen this episode before. Yeah. And then you're like five years down the line, like, oh, I've never seen this episode before. And you're like, oh, shit. There's got to be like 50 seasons of this. And you're like, what? Two this seasons. Whole, this whole got canceled after a half season? <laughs> <How> the, fuck, <laughs> right. the fuck's going on here? No, but I get that. Mostly with like anime and cartoons, though. Yeah. Like that's, that's, that, that's where I'm like, God damn, how many seasons are of this thing? Or was it, uh, what, Fully Cooly only had like, what, four episodes? Six. Six episodes? So they, was it like a limited thing or did it just get At canceled? At first it was a limited and then now they're like season two. They uh, just made season two last year. Yeah, I think so. When did it originally air? Back in the gap? Yeah, like yeah. early 2000s. Oh, God damn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did it, it's it's a, what is it, anime? It's an anime. But yeah. it, the cool thing is that they make fun of uh, American animation because they make fun of South Park at one one of the episodes. They do like a South Park like tribute kind of way because the, the characters look like South Park. It's pretty funny. Let's say, uh, I was gonna say, let's hope it's a tribute because if there's one person, if there's one cartoon I'm not taking shots at, it's South Park. They took shots at him. It's pretty funny. South Park must have not saw that shit. You know, <laughs> yeah. they would have flamed. They would have flamed that ass. <laughs> they would have dedicated a whole fucking episode to flaming <laughs> that ass, even if it's a good show. Well, right. well, the the show itself, it like. It's a mashup of like pretty much every genre. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it it's fucking weird. But like it's a, fuck- like like a variety show type thing. Kinda. Kinda. It it just like throws everything out there, and it does it surprisingly well. Yeah. But if you're looking for a fucking storyline, that storyline is it's weird. It's weird and practically non-existent. Yeah. Which I'm surprised how they got a season two. Yeah. Well, I kind of want to see Nostalgia it. Sills. Right. Yeah. Because, I mean, Navarre has it, and you can probably watch it. Yeah, if it's as old as y'all are saying it is, then... It came out, like, maybe 2006, 2007, maybe? Yeah, so... Yeah. Was that 15, 16 years old yeah. or something like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, Nostalgia Sills. If there's something came out when you were early teen, whatever, you'd probably want to reboot. Like, I think that's why they did Samurai Jack. Right. Well, they just wanted to finish it because they couldn't. Oh, that's finish right. It. Never. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. uh, uh, the guy who played Haku died, I think. Oh shit. Oh yeah. And so they were just like, "Fuck it, we'll just finish it." I want to buy those those newer seasons. I haven't been able to watch them anywhere. I think I think it's on HBO Max. It, it, I think you're right, but I want because I actually liked Samurai Jack. Oh yeah. Back in the Gap, because it was a freaking like different way to view cartoon. Yeah. That that that, that whole style of animation that they did it was right. completely different from everything that was on Cartoon and then Network the at the time. was freaking like amazing yeah. too. That, that's what blew my mind is I was like outside of like DBZ and Pokemon and shit like that that was one of the first cartoons where like I actually saw from the beginning because I didn't see Dragon Ball so right. I wasn't really up to date yeah. you know so, but when I, when Samurai Jack came out, I was like, "Oh shit!" Like the storyline is fucking fire. And then the characters in there, yeah, the Scottish guy, the freaking demon that works for Haku, yeah. 
Haku himself. It was definitely a, an adult cartoon. Oh, like yeah. that was. I was like, man, this is this is like uh, that. That was the cartoon that made me realize that there was more than just like Ed, Ed, Nettie. Right. You know what I mean? Like shit like that. It wasn't yeah. retarded. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It, it could. Act, you could actually have a like, real storyline. Right. Behind it, because like DBZ, yeah, ob- they're all cartoons, so they're obviously going to be outlandish. But like DBZ would be crazy. Like motherfucker would get punched and go through like nineteen boulders <laughs> nonstop, <laughs> flying at like five hundred miles an hour. Damn near like destroying the planet, but not destroying the yeah, planet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's like the fuck you 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 made a whole fucking continent a new one a new one and it's still not destroyed the fuck <laughs> yeah exactly it's it's there was no tsunamis no nothing right but yeah so yeah but I I knew obviously it's a cartoon but I just really like the storyline of I think Samurai my Jack. favorite episode is where like I guess this world or place that he was it's like this whole city was like a, a, basically like a club and he had like a pacifier with him the whole time. <laughs> You remember that episode with well, Samurai Jack? No, uh, no, I have. Dude, it's been so long since really? I've seen that shit. Yeah, yeah. Had he had like this like orange like vest thingy on, like those jacket vests, mm-hmm. and he had like a uh, he had a pacifier and he was just beating up people at this club. It's pretty cool. I gotta go back. I, I wonder if they have all the seasons on. I think on it's HBO on HBO Max. Max. Hang on, let me check. Because I really I want to go back and rewatch it. It's been shit. That shit came out when I was. That was a long ass 12, time ago. 13, something like that. The only thing that I hated is that it came out late night. Yeah, it was yeah. it was definitely on Adult Swim, I think, yeah. right? It was like right before Adult Swim started. Right before, okay. Yeah, it wasn't on Adult Swim, but it was like late night. Yeah. I think it was like around like eight or nine or something like that, right? Yeah, before Adult Swim yeah. came on, yeah. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen that show. Like if I saw them, I know I would remember the episodes. Yeah. But I think at one point, uh, Raul and I, because we were watching together, we did fall off and miss a few episodes. And whenever we tried to get back on track, I was like, I have no idea what's going on. Right. And then I was like, fuck. I think it does have all of them. Because the, the, the stuff that I see kind of looks newish. The way that the animation is for the last season. I got to check so, it out. This is the fifth season. See, that style is just fucking dope. Hell yeah. Yeah, I gotta I gotta get I gotta check it out. Hell yeah. It's been so fucking long. Cause I definitely wanna see what happens. Cause does he go back? Does he kill Haku? Sorry, listeners. We're uh Yeah, we're 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 looking at Samurai Jack. We, we, we have uh, more important shit than this. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're nerding out right now. Yeah, you know. What? I don't even, how the hell do we? How the hell do we get on? This I don't stuff? even know. Dude. Oh, the uh, the the Japanese. Uh, oh, the show. Yeah, the show. Yeah, <laughs> the eighties theme thing. I can't believe that show was in the eighties. Well, no, you could definitely tell the, it looked like shit, but it was just oh, yeah. funny as hell. It's in line, but you know how like some shows had good production, some of them didn't. So you, you didn't really take to notice what era it came out, All right? But then also, this is like. Shit, early 2000s when we were watching it. Yeah. So n- now that you, oh god, I wonder what I wonder like compared to what we see now with the 4K and the HD. I wonder what that shit looks like now. What like as far as the quality looks? Ooh, yeah. When they fix it, yeah. I love it when um when you w- watch an old show or movie and then they re like you know put it as ultra oh, like, like remaster it or remaster whatever. it kind of like the old Disney movies. And then they remaster you. You're like, oh shit, it's more defined. Or sometimes they de, uh, de, uh, like they make it worse. Uh, like degrade it a little bit. Yeah, because uh, I remember someone was comparing the 4K Cinderella to the like original Cinderella. The original Cinderella, it may look fuzzy, but it was a lot more in detail compared to the other one because it looked a lot more flat. Right. Yeah, the that that whole process fucks up the the compression and all that shit. It fucks right. up a lot of the uh, the pixels and stuff. Right, it squashes the shit out of it. Uh, back to Samurai Jack. They do so that fifth season is the last season. Okay. So there was only four seasons. Oh, damn. before they stopped it and then they revamped it. Hmm. So so that's the the, the closer the closer season. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna check it out. So it's all on HBO Max. If you have HBO Max. Yes. Yeah. 
Hell yeah. yeah I'll probably I mean, even get started tonight. That shit is dope. Hell yeah. Yeah, what's the, uh, I saw, I saw, what's the dumbest thing you would do for like a story to tell a story? For you to be a part of the story so the story develop or what? No, 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 no. Just so you could like have a story to tell. You know, like some people are like, yeah, hit me with the taser gun or whatever. Like, I get, <laughs> or some shit, you know. I don't know. For I me, don't really think about, about it like that. I'm me, just like, oh, dope. I, I would I would I would take a bite from a bullet ant. Hmm. That one that uh ant that you feel the pain for like almost twenty four hours or whatever the right. hell it is. Fuck no. I would. I'm Where? already in pain all the time. I just, yeah, just no, no thanks. Show you a little trick, take your mind off that finger. <laughs> <laughs> my fingers are what it hurt. No, it's just for major pain. Yeah, but I uh, know. uh I I'd just do it on my arm or something. Okay. I'm not doing all like my bean bag, nothing fucking crazy like that. <laughs> That'd be hilarious though. Hell no, I wouldn't. <laughs> but hey, you can tell people that yeah, I got bit on my bean bag. Cause who would know? Yeah, but mm-hmm. I, I I think if you voluntarily and you weren't a part of that tribe, if you voluntarily got bit by a bullet ant, you'd be in the one percent. Right. Yeah. Like nobody volunteers for that shit. So I'd be like, yeah, I fucking, my stupid ass got bit by a bullet ant. Right. Oh, I know what we could do. What's up? Let's go get tear gassed. I, I bet you know a guy. Well, he probably, he, I think he had to go through that. Yeah, I had to go through it. Oh, really? Yeah. So let's go do it. I'll do it. For the story? Yeah. <laughs> Is it that bad? I, I heard it sucks, but. I mean, yeah, it, it it sucks, but it's not. But like, it's a great way to clear your fucking sinuses. Oh shit! <laughs> so all, all this shit just comes out purple and fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My eyes, ah, uh, bro. My speaking of fucking noses, my shit is dry because of this weather change. Yeah, fuck, you ain't lying. Like dry, like bone dry. Today, my yeah. eyes were been watery all day. I'm just like, fuck, what's going on? The only downside of being in Texas when the weather changes is that it's drastic. Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, well, hey, it was 116 yesterday. Oh, fuck, it's 44. <laughs> You're like, God damn. Word. God damn. Like, Jesus, man. That weather changed up real quick. Yeah. But I do appreciate it. Yeah, because it feels great. If it, if it could just stay like this all throughout the year, that'd be great. Yeah. 70s, and then at night it gets a little cooler, but whatever. It's kind of like San Diego. Cali? Like, San Diego was nice during the day, but at night it got fucking cold. Really? Hell yeah. It's right oh. there by the ocean. I didn't even know it got that cold over there. And then that, well, excuse me, on the West Coast, the water's fucking cold all the time anyway, mm. for the most part. I always wanted to go to New York. Mm-hmm. Not to live there, but just to visit. I, I, I think I've been once or twice. Did you like it? Yeah. Have you been to New York or no? No. Do you ever want to go to New York? No. God damn. It's, it, it'd be a bit much for him. Okay. I could see you getting annoyed because I got annoyed. Really? Yeah. Why is that? There's just so many fucking people there. <laughs> it, like, like, whenever you see, like, Spider-Man, the, the Sam Raimi ones, yeah. or everyone's all, like, was it part two whenever uh, Mary Jane's working at the, the, the cafe or whatever? I think it is the second one. Second or third one, whichever yeah. one it is. I think it is the second one. All those people that you see constantly walking, yeah. that's not like, those aren't paid actors. Oh, shit. That's so legit. Just... Yeah, it, it's fucking packed, especially by Manhattan. The one where uh, Joey Diaz was in? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that, exactly. I, I, I didn't do any like public transportation or anything because I was like, there's no fucking way in hell. Really? No. I would try it. Just say I got on the subway. I definitely want to go to that train station that is in every movie. The the one that's from uh, Joker. Yeah. That 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 you're thinking of <clears throat> the train station you're thinking of is not just one. Yeah, no. They all look the same. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I thought it was the one where like every all the ports come the in. The stairs and yeah, you the see stairs. the little letters yeah, they're all. Yeah, okay. Th- that that's how they all. That's just their style. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, either way, I want. I want to mind like 
and be like, oh, hey, what's up? I, I finally made it. I think you'd be under, I think you'd be d- underwhelmed. Really? Yeah. Oh. There's a lot of things that movies make look cool. Oh yeah, it's movies like California. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn, it's on fire, ninety percent of the time. Yeah, like maybe if you did, maybe if you got on the subway once, you'd be like, oh, this is a subway, <laughs> right? That that's pretty much what it is. It's not Rick. Public transportation is not as cool as people make it out to be. Right. I mean, you know, you've been on a fucking yeah, Greyhound been, before. Yeah, I've been on the bus before. Imagine that, but with lunatics. Okay. Yeah, that with like crazy schizophrenics, right? And like people throwing feces all over the place and Ooh. shit, and no bathrooms. Yee. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not sorry to burst your bubble, right, but just, that uh, that's just the public that, transportation. That's how it really is, yeah. In New York, uh, I mean, granted, now after COVID, I'm pretty sure they they cleaned, cleaned it up, up a lot. lot. Yeah, but yeah, it's oh hell no. I don't even remember how old I was when I went there. Why'd you go over there? I don't know. Were you trying to meet up with Jay? No, I think I think I was there with me and DJ went to Detroit. And that was a real fucking shithole, and then we went to Philly. Welcome to Philly. No, we didn't go there. We went through we went through uh, Pennsylvania uh. to get to New York, though. Why'd y'all go? Just cause we were in Detroit. Hmm. What are y'all Me- doing in Detroit? Meeting some rapper, uh. and then that fell through pretty fast. Yeah. And then I was like, "Fuck it, we're we're already up here. Might as well get to see the scenery." Yeah. Nice. It was alright. I'll visit Alicia Keys. That'd be dope. Yeah. New York is cool, though. I mean, there's just a lot of people there. I want to go there in the fall. Because I'm a big fall guy. I love the fall. I wish our fall looked prettier here. Yeah. It could be, but it doesn't happen until, like, December. Yeah, I was going to say, we our, our our seasons are so off. Yeah. Because I have a really cool picture when, like, that tree right here in the front yard... Like really look like a fall tree, and you're like, oh shit, where it like has the red and orange and bright yellows and all that. It looked pretty badass, but it didn't get there until like December. Yeah, you're like, god damn. Yeah, the seasons are so yeah off and fucked off. It'll be easy. Well, never mind. He's already done something for a story. He got his dick pierced. Yeah, <laughs> it's like the ultimate thing. Yeah, he got like a freaking like piercing through his fucking dick. Yeah, you know, I got a outside of Tuck. I have a tattoo artist who can uh, who who said he's willing to do the red, white, and blue baby tattoos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. So wait, you're saying there's tattoo artists who won't do it? No, I, I just I, I wouldn't get Tuck to do it because I I know he won't do it for certain because he's like no no this is stupid oh, you know, okay. like because he'll be like you're gonna regret this whatever <laughs> and I will but I still want it <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> just so I can be like you know what. Red, white, Red and blue, blue baby. baby. <laughs> no, that's gonna be a laugh for me all the time. That's what I I'm see. saying. Yeah, like, like there's like there's ta- people get tattoos they regret, whatever you know. Right. But still, like you, you get even like, yeah, that was I got this to represent this moment in my life or whatever. Like that, it was just a funny fucking thing to get. Right. Like I, I'll probably just be like having a horrible day and just like look at it and be like, <laughs> where would you where would you get it? Probably right here. I'd probably get it on the side of my hand. Where'd you get it? Like right here. Jesus, like Tupac? (laughs) Yeah, like Tupac. (laughs) Red, white, and blue, baby. (laughs) Red, white, and blue, baby. (laughs) Hell yeah. (laughs) If not here, probably like within like my finger right there. Somewhere that you can hide but still be able to see it. Right. Sarah would be so fucking mad if I got (laughs) 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 Or just get Trump 2024. (laughs) <laughs> no, now that no, that'd be insane. Not. Yeah, I'd rather have a red, white, and blue baby than the fucking Trump twenty. Yeah, because because uh, red, white, and blue also it's like a I don't know if it's like a double entendre, but it's a, a double because our Texas flag is also red, white, and blue. Yeah, yeah. so you could be like, yeah, I'm just a proud Texan. Yeah, yeah, it's about Texas, dog. Red, white, and blue. Oh, baby. okay, word. Yeah, thought you're closet and conservative. Nah, nah, maybe. Uh. <laughs> no, I'm an open I'm an open conservative. <laughs> Dude, Sarah Sarah sent me this there's a song on all the platforms, but 
It's by Cookie Kawai. It's called Violin. And on Spotify and like title, if you click a certain song, they have like a little three second gif, whatever. Yeah. That plays like a, maybe a part of the music video or something like that. Well, Spotify got hacked. And that was one of the songs where the little three second gif was like hardcore gay porn. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. I wonder, I wonder if they fixed it. Let me see. <laughs> Holy shit. Like hardcore gay porn. <laughs> and then she I bet it was 4chan. Hold on, let me turn my thing down. I didn't uh, even they know they did fix. gif. Yeah, they got it fixed. Oh, dang. Well, yeah. That shit, that shit was hilarious. <laughs> I was like, God, did Sarah... Oh, you know what? Let me see if Sarah actually sent me the picture. Sorry, listeners. I'm trying to look up a picture. Was it a... I remember when someone, like, hacked Facebook uh, profiles and started doing that shit. Because it was so easy to kind of... You know how you can, like, basically do the CC stuff... To where your, uh, not Facebook, MySpace profile. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. To change it and all that. So someone, like, did that to people's profiles. And I was like, oh, shit. Well, shit, but that was the easiest. MySpace was the easiest to hack. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, shit, we had to build, basically, we had to build our own website. Yeah. Without us knowing it. Yeah. And then who the, who a bunch of fucking kids. <laughs> to, you know, we don't know how to, like, protect that shit. <laughs> No, so yeah, we just use super easy passwords. Yep. You know, one, two, three, four, five. Um, you know, whatever. So. <laughs> but it was fun, though. I love, like, all the little shit that we had. I, ha- I remember having, like, a pet wolf on my fucking page that people can feed and play with and all that. And then the music, too. <laughs> Warning. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. Gross. <laughs> that was the gift. It was, it was just like over and over. Just dude getting fucking throat fucked. I was like, what the hell, babe? She was like, yeah, you should check the song out. I'm like, God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> is, that why, is that why she loved that song now? I guess. Ooh. Yeah, I was like, Jesus Christ. So Sarah's into dude on dude action. I guess. I guess that's her thing now. But she, uh, somebody sent it to her and that little, the friends that she met up with in Dallas. Yeah. I think they call it like Black Anime Nerd or something. And they were like, oh, check this song out. And everyone, everyone looked and she was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so they got her ass. Hey. I didn't even know she had friends in Dallas. I thought all her friends were in uh, Minnesota. No, th- these friends are like, all over the states. It's a Facebook or a, oh. a what's it called? Uh Discord thing. Okay. Uh, Discord or something like that. That they're, they're just like they're just all anime nerds, like black anime nerds. Hmm. Nice. And they met up, went to a haunted house, went to Dave and Busters, did all kind of nerd shit. That's cool. Got to kick it. Dope. Know what I mean? But she doesn't want to hang out with the Mexican people? She was actually trying to come on tonight. Hey. But, but tired. Yeah. No, uh, I get it. She, she, she got too ambitious. She was like, yeah, I'm going to go to Dallas for four days, and whenever I come back, we'll, uh, we'll uh, come podcast. on, do the podcast. Right. Yeah, I was like, yeah, you you, you, you know, say that. I was like, you know you have, like, almost a four-hour drive, right? I was like, you're not going to want to drive an extra two hours right. here and then back. I was like, yeah, your bitch ass is going to be asleep, bro. At the moment... I picked her up from Hertz because she took a rental. Yeah. We got in bed. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to take a quick nap. And then Sarah's like, Z, it's 630. I was like, what the fuck is 630? I was like, God damn. I was like, I'm going to be super late to this bitch tonight. God damn. <laughs> That's the reason I wanted him to pick you up because I was like, the way, by the time I get there, I can just come, or by the time I get in town, I can just come straight here, set up and shit. Right. But it's all good. Because that last couple of weeks. Everyone had been late to this bitch. Other yeah. Than, well, other than you, I think. You were here, but no, you weren't here. You, no, everyone, I was late to yeah, yeah, most of the days, too. Yeah, everyone got everyone was here late the last couple of times. So yeah. that's why I was like, shit, let me just try to get, get everything kind of. Get you to pick him up. Right. And then I can just run over, set up, and shit. But 
Brian was like, man, this fool doesn't love me anymore. Yeah, he hates me. We're beefing, bro. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. We're beefing. <laughs> bitch, if we're beefing, you would know. <laughs> when have I ever been silent about t- talking <laughs> shit? <laughs> yeah, you lying. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> like I'd have called you out on and off the mic. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> and the group chat. Yeah. <laughs> I think you would have changed your name to instead of be easy, like bitch ass or something like that. Cunt sore. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn. Dude, so what the fuck what happened with the school over there in Caldwell? Oh shit. So we're gonna talk about this? Yeah, I I, I Navar, he sent it to the group, but I was like, I didn't really read into it. Okay, so. I, I saw it on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. see, I, I just didn't read any of the articles. I saw Crystal posting about it, and then right, yeah. so Tuck's sister. But basically, what's going on is that four girls. It's technically, I would cause it hazing ish, but more sexual harassment. Yeah. So uh, they got this. They basically like gang ganged up on this girl to make her like you know un- undress and they took pictures and photos of her and then just sent it to everybody and now she went to the like authorities and the school and all that to clear it up because obviously no one likes that no one likes to get bullied and so everybody who saw the the thing at first were all like man this is some bullshit we need to get justice and all that and then we figured out that one of the girls who did this uh, her dad is a part of the board, yeah. Like the board meeting, uh, so now people are just riling up because obviously people who are, you know, under that cloud don't really get that justice because you know they could just get daddy to pay yeah. it out, yeah. So now they're like hell no. Nah. So they're gonna have a board meeting in November, and a lot of people from Cod will want to go over there and gotta you know say what they want to say. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. yeah. And apparently Crystal knows, not Crystal, but her boss knows who the little girl is. She's like family relative to her. Damn. So, and it's crazy because apparently they deleted a lot of the evidence, so they can't really get with that. So it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of fuckery. Yeah, I heard the Navarro saying like a bunch of the students walked out. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I guess like in protest or whatever. Yeah. Hmm. Because, I mean, like, we all have been through that type of, like, bullying. I've been through a lot of type of that bullying. But because, you know, their their hierarchy is, you know, in that sense, there, you try to bring it up, they just brush it up. It's overlooked, yeah. Yeah. But this time, everyone's like, no, we're not fucking around this time. We're really going to go home and try to, you know, get this justice. So we'll see how it goes. That's wild. It is wild. And I kind of like it in the sense of them wanting to bring, yeah, make make shit happen. Right. Yeah. Cuz I mean it, it's for it's not only for her well mainly for, for her but, but it's for also future, for, yeah. For the future yeah. and from the past stuff that's happened before. Yeah, something's got to happen. That's some wild shit. Yeah, we just, you know, got tired like, of the there, bullshit. There were was it mostly boys who did it? No, there were girls. Huh. Yeah, it was all girls. Damn. It was all girls. It was a volleyball team. So a lot of people want the coaches to get um, charged and the girls. Right now, it's only looking like the girls are getting charged as of now. But we'll see. Because, you know, the coaches should be should be charged too because they were supervising. You get what I'm saying? They should have known what would be going on. Around that situation because it was on a bus. And the crazy thing is, it's not being charged in Burleson. It's charged in somewhere else. Yeah, I saw that. Like That's one thing that Navarro was saying. He was like, it's not being in that county. It's being wherever the fuck I they were, they the were going the or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Because it all happened there first. Hmm. Weird. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, that's how the law works. Because if it was Burleson, I think they would have just, you know, brushed it under the table. And yeah. That's it. Because again, this this dude, I don't want to say it on here, but if you look on Facebook, it's right there. Um, apparently, he's a big guy in Caldwell, so, mm, and he's one of the board members. So. Yeah. 
Yep, that's uh, that's how that shit works. That's how that bullshit system works. Mm-hmm. Yep. T rash. T rash, and then they're also investigating because somebody said they do this like every year. Every year, so that's why they're calling it a hazing kind of thing. Because if it's if it is happening every year, how come no one has said anything before? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of everything's kind of up in there and trying to figure out what's going on. So we'll see. And everybody's yeah. wanting to go to that uh, meeting. The only thing that I don't, I understand why they're doing this, but I don't think it'll be like a big thing is that they're all coordinating to wear color. Cause teal represents, you know, people who have been sexually harassed and all that. Yeah. And I understand that, you know, I'd rather get the job done than getting the the color right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So at at, at this meeting is uh, the dude from the board. He should be there. Yes, he has to be there. Yeah, because he's a part of the board meeting. What I don't show up, he's fucking pussy. He in line. I would say like he should like resign as a board member. In in this in in this situation, depending on how like everyone how it goes. He he may have to, right? But, I mean, chances are, if he's as big as you say he is, right? Because you know. I would I would want him to resign and not be a part of the school for a while. See, it's kind of iffy because well, I don't know me. I wouldn't want to get in trouble because my kid's a fucking dumbass. Yeah, has because he, has I want to say one of those kids was actually like eighteen. Yeah, they're so, all. Technically, they're all of age because they're because seventeen is our uh, age of consent or age of like adulthood. Yeah. Has well, has he used any of his power to make sure that his daughter didn't get in any trouble? Yeah. If if he was trying to brush it under the rug or whatever, then yeah, he should step down or whatever. Right. But if. He's not trying to do that, then I don't think he should be punished. Yeah, that, 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 see, that's where I'm leaning. Like, if he hasn't done anything to where, like, oh, no, my daughter's, like, my daughter wouldn't do anything, which obviously every parent's going to think that. Right. Yeah. But, like, if he's like, no, she didn't do it at all, and I'm making sure it doesn't go on a record or anything like that, to use any his pool, then he's got to fucking go. And he should also probably be charged with something because that's, that's not cool. Like, that's, yeah. You're at that point, you're, you're fucking with, not a federal investigation, but you're with a, an investigation. Right. You know, but if he's just like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, well, right now there's no statement a part of it. Yeah. So all. then he he can't really be charged with anything or, or be accused of anything. Right. If there's no, if there's no statements, but it, like if he is using his pool, then yeah, he got to fucking go. Cause that's bullshit. Right. That's not how you're supposed to be using your power. And I, granted there's judges who have done that before. Oh Yeah. And they got to yeah, fucking I go, too. I, I know one, and I know his son, but I want to say it because I think he does listen to our podcast. Oh. But, uh, but yeah, this dude, he was he was one of them, like, womb beaters, dude. Damn. Yeah. Kept getting off and shit? Yeah. Yeah, I know somebody whose dad is a judge. And then I know also know a, a woman, a lady who her mom's a judge. Yeah. And she got hooked on meth real bad. Damn. Out in uh, kind of about where, uh, like, northeast Houston, whatever. Yeah. And she kept getting caught and caught and caught. But if we could always see her out and about, her mom was pulling strings. I was like, that is not fucking cool. Right. Instead of getting her off, you need to get her help. Right. But, no, he ends up still getting her off. Yeah, now, if some shit like that happens with this dude in Caldwell, fuck that guy. Right. That's, that's, that's I shit. mean, we'll see, because, I mean... I don't really know him personally, but from what I hear, he's done this, not done this before, but he's kind of like one of those people who are like, oh, you know, it's my daughter. She won't do anything, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, this time your daughter's a part, like really a part of it, and she's in part of investigation. She's arrested right now, so, you know. Dude, there's nothing worse than those fucking people whose parents have authority, and they know it. Right. God, I hate those fucking people. Like, I think their bond right now is like two twenty thousand dollars Yeah, it's just two grand, though. No, I think it's actually 20000 
Yeah, but with to bond out, it's ten percent. Oh, so okay, it's, it's two, two grand. Thousand, yeah. Well, he was able to afford it. I don't well, know about yeah. the other girls. Yeah, some bullshit. Right. Well, well hopefully it gets worked out though, because. Yeah, me too. Because I'm surprised a lot of people are wild up about it. Yeah, that hazing shit. I I thought that shit was done for. Me too, but apparently not. Fuck no. Hazing will never go away. It's not oh, yeah. Happen. Kids are always going to be assholes. Yeah. So. But as bad as this caliber? Fuck. Yeah. No. Well, on some more depressing shit. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Suicide is badass. Max. No, it's not as bad. But I, uh, I read somewhere that uh, all this food supply being low and all that shit, it's because uh, these companies can't keep truck drivers. Yeah. Yeah. Like like truck drivers are dropping like flies. They get they got their pay and they're like, "Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and retire now." Right. I've got crazy amounts of money and investments. Fuck this shit. No and now more. we need C- more truck drivers. CDL drivers. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. I just hate that the media, you know, twists it as you know, it's because low farming, low this, yeah. low foods, low that. No, it's really because, you know, our own people are just like, hey, I got that money. I got paid. Fuck this. You know, it's crazy. I, I was reading, also reading this thing and a couple of statistics. I don't know how real these are because they're from the Internet. Yeah. But, you know, how like people are saying how nobody wants to work and uh, the, the the employment rate is crazy low and all that shit. Yeah. Well, if you look at the, the taxes, whatever, like the, the federal taxes and all that shit. Like those same people that are that we're hearing that they're not wanting to work, they just got some money from the pandemic, those stimulus checks, and they invested in something that they love to do. So like a lot of people are streaming, making videos, photography, pottery, carpentry, whatever the fuck it may be. Right. They're doing their own thing, so they're their own bosses now. But based off of the employment rate, people are thinking that Nobody wants to work. Yeah. yeah. And granted, there probably are a lot of motherfuckers. Who, who don't. Yeah. yeah. No, but, I, met, I met some people and they're like, no, nah, I'm just living all the government. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're, oh, everybody oh, knows some piece of shit like that. Elon. But yeah, like a lot of people are like, yeah, they, the, un, the, un, the employment rate is super low, but the money's still coming in from their taxes. Like they're just, they're a different type of tax now. It's 1099. Right. They're their own bosses. Hell yeah! I mean, so do why? Do, I wish do. the media would run with that for real instead of being like nobody wants to work. They just any anything that you know grabs attention, any type of scare tactic they can throw. Oh yeah, they're gonna. They're and gonna they don't do give it. a damn. You, nah. Did you see that CNN fucking interview with uh, with Joe? No. Oh, the Sanjay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fucking trash. Where do we do that? <laughs> I was like, "What the yeah, fuck?" You know, you you know what the fuck y'all do. <laughs> yeah, no, you piece of shit. He, he was he was playing like a fucking dummy. He was just like, "Oh, really? We do that, Joe? You think we do that? Oh man, yeah. He, he that's what happens. I, I think garbage. I think I think a lot of people really uh, underestimate Joe. I was thinking about this on the way over here. He has over a thousand episodes." Some of majority of those are four plus hours long. Yeah. That guy knows how to talk. Oh, yeah. That guy knows how to research. Oh, yeah. And then he knows how to, like, bring it out of people. And shit on people in yeah. an intelligent way, which is what he did. Oh, yeah. And made sure. that guy look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> fuck you, CNN. Elon. And Fox, to be fair, but fuck you, CNN. Y'all are, fuck all of them. Yeah. Goddamn liberals. <laughs> Red, white, and blue, baby. <laughs> you red, white, and blue, baby. Shit, when are we going to get this done? Fuck it. I'll, uh, are we going to get matching fonts? I don't know. Depending on what, what font you choose. I mean, we can just all find one and be like, yeah, that's dope. But just keep in mind that it's forever. <laughs> yeah, no. I think I can get mine like an ink, ink master kind of way. Yeah, yeah like the old school yeah. Uh, traditional. Yeah. I, I'm down. I don't care because the tattoo is a tattoo. It's it's going to the grave with me, <laughs> so I don't right. give a shit. Yeah, I'm I'm never gonna get a tattoo removed. I think that's kind of probably gonna be my only tattoo. Red, white, and blue, baby. Yeah. 
People only you have a tattoo? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> You're goddamn right, I do. <laughs> Just can't wait to show that shit off. <laughs> He's really rolling up his jorts. <laughs> right here. Red, white, and blue, baby. What the fuck? <laughs> Don't question me. <laughs> I live the way I want. You know why? Because red, white, and blue, baby. Bro, I can't, I can't wait till it's like 2040. And Sarah pissed me off, and I'm still going to be saying Trump 2024. <laughs> no, all <laughs> you got to do is just raise up your fucking, like, oh, your sleeve and all that. Just be like, like you know what? <laughs> Red, white, and blue, baby. <laughs> I might get my shit in between all my fingers. Red, white, and blue. Red, red white, and blue. Yeah, I could do that. Hell yeah. Red, white, and blue, baby. <laughs> we should do it and then tag uh, Chris and Stefano. Yeah. He'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> We should invite him. <laughs> Red, white, and blue, baby. Red, white, and fucking blue. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know how long we've been going for. I don't even know. I got the damn thing so small. I think it's an hour and 41? 51? Yeah, 51. Yeah. You ready to roll? Yeah. I got to piss like a fucking racehorse, my I feel guy. like we didn't even like, hit the topics that you had on your phone. Oh, we, we literally covered every single oh, one Oh, okay, of cool. And, and added some. Hey. I only had like nine things. But it felt so smooth about it. Yeah. So I happens to Navarre. <laughs> he ain't lying. <laughs> Fuck Navarre. Navarre, you're fired. <laughs> We're going to need your last week's paycheck, actually. We, we need you to write your two weeks of letter. We're going to make him resign. <laughs> God damn. Hey, can you do us a favor and just quit? <laughs> God damn. So what? We can pay him unemployment? Hell no. <laughs> he needs to be paying us. <laughs> he ain't lying. I know, well, we know we're using your house, but uh, we're going to need you to pay us. <laughs> Red, white, and blue, baby. <laughs> Communism. <laughs> yeah, man, let's roll because I want to try something with this camera real quick. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Listeners, that was episode 201. Is there any way you can change the song for the ending? For what? To Thriller. Thriller? Yeah. Thriller. Da-da. For It's Halloween. Yeah, but this will be coming out on like the 8th or something like that. Aww. Yeah, you're right. You can play it afterwards. Yeah, we'll jam it after. Hell yeah. Plus, you might like this. Okay. You, you don't even know what the outro is. Maybe you do, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, that was episode 201. We'll catch you on next week. Peace. Peace. Peace.